Hello and welcome coders to the sky coding. So this is the fourth tutorial of our snowflake series. So in this video we will see how can we use the old classic UI of the snowflake. Okay at, at this time the snow site is working when, whenever we will create any snowflake free trial account it will automatically redirect us to the snow site one that is the new UI of the snowflake. Okay so suppose that I want to use the old classic UI then how to convert the to the old classic ui okay some of the friends were asking me that how to do that okay so that's why i thought that i should create a video on this also okay there is uh, some methods which are available with some of the friends tried that uh, you have to just simply go to the profile and you have to simply set your default experience as the classic ui and, and after saving you have to just close the browser and you have to just simply clear the cache and history of that browser and you will be directly redirected to the old classic ui whenever you will do the login to the snowflake account okay but that method is not working okay in this video i will tell you one working method this method will definitely work in all of the systems okay so by which you can use the old classic ui okay so without wasting any time let's get started so you can see this is my snow site one okay so these are the some of the worksheets data databases which are available to us in the snow site okay and these databases will also be available to the old classic ui whenever we will convert our snow site to the snow flake old classic ui okay so these are the some of the databases you can see here okay and you can note these databases if you want okay these databases will also be available to us on the old classic ui okay so first of all the thing which you have to do is you have to just simply click on this profile and you have to just click here on the profile icon and after that you will see here one option okay so let it open okay so you have to just scroll down and you have to see and you will see here one option that is a default experience and you have to just simply select this one this is so you can see this is my classic ui which is already selected but whenever i am doing the login it is already redirected me to the snow site one which is the new ui okay still my that default experience is the classic ui okay so this is not working okay so the thing which you have to do is you have to just in your systems it may be the snow site one you have to just simply select this classic ui from here and, and you have to just simply click on the save option okay in mind save is uh, not coming because i have already selected the classic ui okay so after doing this default experience as the classic ui you have to just simply click on the save and it will be saved in your system okay after doing this save you have to just do some modifications in the url also okay so just for url you have to just simply copy the url of this snow site and you have to simply open any of the editor okay yes i am simply opening the notepad okay or you can do simply on the browser also okay but uh, for better understanding let's open the notepad only okay so you have to just simply copy the url of snow site and you have to just simply paste here okay and you have to just simply do some of the changes here okay so this is my snow site url okay and the change which i have to do in this url is that uh, for the old classic ui okay so let me tell you the url format of the old classic ui okay so the format of the old classic ui was that first of all there will be the https and after that you have to give your account name account name uh, dot location name dot snowflake computing dot com okay so this is the url of the old classic ui okay so we have to just simply change this snow site url to the old classic ui syntax okay so let me do that thing okay so i am just simply typing https and after that typing https you have to just simply give your account name my account name is jp02361 okay so i'm just pasting my account name after that you have to just simply put dot after that you have to give your location my location is app southeast slash one okay so i have pasted my location also after that you have to just simply click dot again after that you have to just simply type snowflake computing dot com okay so this is the url of the old classic ui which is uh, ready okay so you can understand the changes what I have done. Okay. So first here this is the snow site URL. Here what are the things which are available to us? Here first is the snowflakecomputing.com after that location and after that account name. But in the classic UI, first of all, we have to give my account name, dot location name, 
dot snowflake computing dot com okay so this is the change which you have to do if you want to use the classic ui okay this will definitely work in all of the systems okay so let me summarize what you have to do you have to just simply give your account name first after that location name after that snowflake computing dot com okay so uh, my url of the classic ui is ready so we have to just simply copy this url and after copying this url you have to just simply paste in the url bar of the any of the browser okay and after that you have to just simply enter and it will now open the old classic ui in our systems this method will definitely work okay so let me do the sign in you can see i have written the login username and the password and i'm doing the sign in okay let me close the notepad now and you can see this is my url and this is my working okay guys so you can see i have redirected to the snowflake old classic ui okay okay so you can see this is my snow site one and this is my old classic ui okay so you can see these are the databases which are available to us let me show you that sky and aws uh, schema here so this is my sky schema available and this is my database this is my aws schema okay so these are also available to us here in the databases you can see this is my sky database and uh, here you can see AWS schema and Sky schema available to us in the Snow site also and in the here also in the old classic UI. Okay, so you can see this is a database here, marketplace, warehouse, worksheet. These are the worksheets which are available to us. Okay, so these are the some of the codes which I have written for practice. Okay, and uh, suppose that uh, after converting to the old classic UI, you want to use that is no side one so you can just simply click on the is no side and it will again redirect you to the is no side one okay so you can use the old classic ui also you can use the is no site one also at the same time so this is the thing which you have to do and this method will definitely work in all of the systems okay and, and if you face any type of problem you can text me on the instagram or you can use the comment section i will definitely help you out there okay so that's it for today's session meet you soon in the next very interesting tutorial and the next tutorial will be of our basic uh, that uh, ddl dml commands of the snowflake okay because the basic thing is also important who are the new to the snowflake okay so after that we will do all these things so you can see these are the we will do functions procedure file format loading data stages snow pipe is no pipe we will see time travel zero to copy cloning and we will see the stages also internal and external stages and uh, regular expression is also important json json loading we will see data sharing we will see lots of features which are available to us okay so please subscribe our channel to not miss any of the updates of from the snowflake series okay because the snowflake tutorial videos are very less on the youtube so that's why i thought to make this series to help to provide the knowledge free to everyone okay so we will see all these things in the deep in the upcoming videos okay so bye guys take care of yourself meet you soon in the next very interesting tutorial